Welcome back to the channel, guys. The Psychotic Circus of Savannah. I can't believe it. The day has finally come. I've been screaming at the top of my lungs for years about needing a Terrifier Art the Clown animatronic. And to be frank, I thought that maybe the film was just a little too violent for retailers to want to grasp onto. So I ended up making my own, but I'm so happy to say that this guy is now gonna have a counterpart or two. Let's get into the new Terrifier animatronics released by Party City. All right, so yesterday, Party City ended up dropping a bomb on everybody with not one, but two different licensed props from the Terrifier series. They dropped an Art the Clown animatronic, which I was really, really happy to see that they finally went ahead and bit the bullet. Is that the saying? Mm -hmm. Bit the bullet and released such a gruesome animatronic. But I was blown away. Wig officially pulled all the way back to my spine. <laughs> <laughs> Super surprised that they were also dropping a little pale girl. Now, little pale girl was in Terrifier 2. She comes as Art the Clown's sidekick, which at the time nobody was expecting. We kind of thought that this guy rolled solo. If you aren't familiar with the Terrifier series, it's a about this supernatural clown that pretty much goes on a murdering rampage and nobody knows why. It's an ode to all the slasher horror movies of the 80s. You know, the B-rated effects and just gratuitous blood and boobs. So of course when they drop this bomb that they're releasing two animatronics this year for their halfway to Halloween event, I was extremely excited to check them out. And because I'm a huge Terrifier fan, I am going to criticize these with a very fine tooth comb. And I'll be honest, at first glance, I don't think there's much to criticize. So first, let's start with the star of the show, Art the Clown. This animatronic is made by SVI. I know that you may have heard on other channels or may have heard some whispers that it was actually made by Techie Toys. I have confirmed with the folks at SVI and Party City that this particular prop is made by SVI. So majority of my props are made by SVI. And so I was really excited to hear that they made this prop because I know it's gonna be a cinch to put together. I know that some people have thought that based on the movement of art, that it is a servo prop, but I don't believe that it is. We've seen this motion before with motors, and so I'm thinking it's just a very elaborate setup of motors instead of using servos, which I'm completely fine with. I do love my props with servos. However, the ones with motors are so much easier to repair later on down the line if anything goes wrong. And I also feel like there's some very neat ways that you can incorporate motors onto these props to make them look as if they are done with a more expensive servo. Now, speaking of expenses, he's only $250, which I could do a freaking backflip here in that news. I feel like lately a lot of companies, Party City included, have had animatronics creep up in price and up in price and up in price. $250 is the exact spot where I wanna see my props. Anywhere from 199 to 250 is a sweet spot where it's like a guarantee I have to get it. Yeah. <laughs> $199 to $250 is kind of that sweet spot where it's almost a guarantee that I'm going to be purchasing that animatronic. Now, Art has three points of articulation, his head moves, his waist moves, and that saw from the very infamous scene in Terrifier 1 moves up and down as well. And I want to say something about how they chose to decorate this Art the Clown animatronic. The saw is necessary. I feel like it was the perfect choice for them to really encapsulate what Art the Clown means and what he's done in his mass murdering career. 
And I also like that they made these sunglasses removable. Now I've seen lately where a lot of things show art with these sunglasses and there's only really one part of a film where he has these sunglasses on and it's a very small part. So I'm not sure if I'd be utilizing these. I am so thankful that they made this removable. Now art doesn't speak, but they have five soundtracks that are playing. And from the snippet, which I'll, I'll play here, it sounds like one of those sounds is from the infamous hacksaw scene. I'm very surprised that they chose to use this particular sound. Again, it's a very, very, very gruesome scene. One of the most gruesome scenes I've ever seen in a horror film. Now we've also seen a video where the sound that's playing is the Terrifier theme song. And then there's a track where they are playing these like ominous, creepy sounds and there's a horn honking and a woman screaming and all of that makes sense. But there's also a track where he's laughing and Art the Clown is a mime. So, hmm? Now they also could have chosen to go with a cleaner look for Art, which in a lot of the films, he, his outfit is actually spotless, which is how I chose to decorate my own homemade Art the Clown animatronic. But they chose to go with a bloodier variant, which I really enjoy. One, I enjoy it because I know if I'm gonna put this in my haunt, I can put it in a different later section than where my homemade prop is. So at first he shows up and he's nice and squeaky clean, but then later on in the haunt, if you happen to see him, he's gonna be all gruesome and holding a saw. And for some reason, I feel like this particular animatronic, his smile just seems to be a bit creepier. He's, he's really enjoying what's going on. So I think that'd be perfect to put later on in my haunt. But the awesome thing about this is that they did not just drop one animatronic. They dropped Dos Animotronos. They also dropped the little pale girl from Terrifier 2, which like nobody was expecting at all. And for me, that's just like having Batman and Robin. It is like having Ben and Jerry. It is like having Tom and a, Jer a different Jerry. Not the same Jerry, a different Jerry, but it's, a, it's the dynamic duo, if that makes sense. Now, a few years ago, Party City released a Georgie prop with the Pennywise It animatronic that they were releasing. And I absolutely love that Georgie prop. I had a homemade Georgie prop. They just made it so much creepier and the price point was beautiful. And when it comes to Little Pale Girl, I have to say, not only did they hit all those same marks that they did with the, the Little Georgie that they released a few years ago, but they actually made it so much better. Now this prop is only $175, which so much more cheaper. However, it is a lot smaller. It's almost five foot tall. Now it does have one creepy soundtrack, which is her singing from the film, which I think is perfect for her. Again, it's not saying raw or having any kind of dialogue. I actually prefer when some of my animatronics don't have sentences, just sounds and laughter or in this case some giggling and some singing it just sounds a it's a bit more creepy than sitting around and listening to five different one-liner jokes written from some middle-aged father in the middle of ohio now they're packing a punch with this little girl right here she has four points of articulation versus three with the full-sized art the clown with little pale girl her head moves both of her arms swing, which is great because one of them makes her wave and the other one, she has a, a dead opossum that she's holding. Do people say opossum or possum? Possum. Possum. She has a dead possum that she's holding. They also gave her light up eyes, which is perfect because she would be great in a section where it's a little darker. Hopefully the uh, tones of her eyes will just cause it to feel a little uneasy. Now, another huge bomb that I don't think anybody has recognized that Party City dropped 
is they are now shipping to your home. You can order online and have it shipped to your front doorstep, which is a huge plus. For years, Party City has either had animatronics at Party City or at Halloween City, and sometimes you could find a prop, and sometimes you couldn't find a prop, but now none of that matters because they will ship it directly to my front door. I would much rather pay for the shipping cost than to pay for the 45 gallons of gas that I'm going to waste driving around to multiple locations just to find out that they don't have the prop I'm looking for. And then another thing that we noticed here, this dropped on the 30th, which was a Tuesday. And when you go onto the website, partycity.com slash Halloween, there's a section that says animatronics. And below that, it says sneak peek every Tuesday. Does this mean that literally every Tuesday we're gonna see a new animatronic that Party City is gonna be dropping? I know that they're shipping props out this summer, which is cool. I don't know if they're gonna do like a pre-sale thing. That would be awesome. I'd just give them my money now. Shut up and take my money. But this means that literally weekly, I get to freak the hell out, excited about Halloween animatronics. So this has been a really exciting year. I think one of the most exciting years that we've had in the Halloween community in a very long time, at least for somebody that enjoys clowns. Spirit is obviously doing a clown slash circus theme, which you can tell by the backgrounds of their ads. We've seen Lowe's drop a clown animatronic, which is very original looking and not something that is just the standard, here's a prop standing on two feet, doing some crazy zany, wild thing. Home Depot thought that because Sinister Steve sucked that maybe clowns suck which is kind of prejudice. Home Depot. And now we have Party City that has literally dropped my favorite horror character of all time. And icing on the cake, his sidekick. Boom, explosion, wasn't expecting it, wasn't expecting it. Nacho cheese Doritos, nacho cheese Doritos, nacho cheese Doritos. Snoop Dogg dancing, Snoop Dogg dancing. Mountain Dew. Explosions. I'm so hyped for this year. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, you probably can because you're like, dude, this guy finally drops a video instead of doing lives every Friday, right? That's how excited I am. So I want to see how excited you guys are. Hit the like button, share the hell out of this, and comment what your thoughts are. And I'll tell you, if this video in the next two weeks gets 10,000 views, I will be giving away a Terrifier themed item. So do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now, do it good, share this video like you should. I am so excited this year. I wanna see the official Lowe's drops. I wanna see all of the Home Depot drops. Spirit has given us a tiny sprinkle of what they're doing. And now Party City is kicking down the door as well. I'm, I'm super excited, super excited, super excited, super excited, super excited. That means you guys are gonna be getting a crap load more videos because my excitement, I cannot contain. It must be released. <laughs> Stay tuned because we're gonna be dropping a whole bunch more videos about what is going on with this Halloween season. All right, that's it. Happy haunts.